Hey guys, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game called Etchy Sketch, Draw Cute Girls Every Day. This game is released on March 17th, 2017. Trigger price is $12.99 Canadian, so probably $11 or $12 US or your regional equivalent. And it's developed and published by New West Games, who also did uh, Sweet Folly High. So this is another visual novel game. You play as Yume Akiyam Akiyama. Um, and you become a full-time manga artist working in an office with a bunch of super cute girls. Sounds great. Let's just hop into it and play the first little bit of the game. I think it's voiced. This one, this one is not voiced. <laughs> this girl isn't. This has been a lot of fun so far. Thank you, I hope everything comes out okay. I appreciate the opportunity. If there's anything else you need from me. I mean, this is my first real gravure photo shoot, so feel free to direct me a little more if you need to. What? You want me to take my top off? I was told I didn't have to, you know. This is probably the manga he's working on, I guess. Uh, I see. Well, we're both girls, right? Oh, sorry, Yume's probably a she. <laughs> I don't mind if it's you. You're gonna make me blush. Please take care of me. <laughs> uh, shut up already. I slam the alarm clock with my fist. That seems to do the trick. Surely it's some cruel joke being woken from a dream as enticing as that one. With the sunlight creeping in through the gaps in the curtains, I knew my time had come. The sound of the alarm, the sound of the alarm was my 7am wake-up call. I did, after all, have to go to work. I slowly got out from underneath my covers and made my way toward the bathroom to get ready for the day. Thankfully, the office I work in is pretty casual. I don't need particularly smart clothing. Generally, I'll show up in jeans or a skirt with a hoodie. It's at least comfortable. I'm not exactly the type of girl who's crazy about perfume or fashion or really anything like that. I'm not cute enough to pull it off, to be honest. Me neither. You may. After I showered and brushed my teeth, I got changed in my room. I still had a little time before work, so I decided to write down the dream I had. I'm trying to get back into drawing manga. I'll take any story idea I can get, and this dream shows real promise. A cute photographer who seduces her gravure idol models, making them feel safe and secure. Playing on the old tropes? Perhaps. But there is potential for some really hot scenes. Of course, that's only the filler. I'd still need to find a real love interest for the main character. I put on my glasses and noticed the clock. Wow, they even like changed to add her glasses, that's awesome. Oh crap, is that the time? Maybe on my way to work I could decide on a love interest. I shouted a quick goodbye to my dad and headed toward the train station. I lived in the suburbs on the west side of Tokyo, quite away from the busy business districts and shopping you'll find in the heart of the city. That being said, I was only a 10 minute walk from Yanagawa Station, which will get me into Akihabara in 50 minutes or so. I work fairly close to Akihabara, and I love the area. See, I'm crazy about girls' love. What? Manga, anime, visual novels? Oh, I see. If it has cute girls falling in love with cute girls, I'm gonna fangirl so hard over it. Some of it can be really, really sexy, too. So Akihabara, being the mecca for otaku across Japan, is a great place for me to be so close to. The train journey is long. I don't always get a seat, even though I'm near the start of the line. It's like two people sitting down, and she's still standing. <laughs> so, standing, I started thinking back to the story concept I've been doing this morning. A female photographer, huh? But where's the drama? Sure, she can use her charms to sleep with these beautiful models, but where's the love? Who do I root for? I don't want to make a manga for people to just... you know... Fap too. There needs to be a good story, too. I need to make a really strong love interest. Maybe a best friend that's ignored because of the models? No, I can't do a best friend love interest yet again. Maybe add something supernatural? Maybe a cat girl should appear as if from nowhere? Cat girls are very popular, you know. No, what am I thinking? That would be dumb. No matter how hard I thought about it, I couldn't come up with the missing part of the puzzle. So I decided to pull a copy of my favorite manga from my bag. It's about a club for the visual arts at a high school. The first year is filled mostly with guys who like typical guys anime. It's really funny, there's a girl who hates otaku and anime, but is ripped into the club by her boyfriend. But in the second year, the club members are exclusively female. They talk about boys love manga, even make their own and head to Komikat, Japan's biggest indie show to promote it. Although I'm into girls love, not boy love, I'd love to do something similar. <laughs> but I don't really know anyone who likes the same things as me. It's not like I don't have friends, but most of them are online. I'm okay with that, really. I'm happy I have a hobby and a stable job. 
That's more than enough for me. My job pays well, but it's kind of strange. So I guess this is before she quit the job and becomes a full-time manga artist. I don't often tell my friends exactly what I do. I did graphic design at university, graduated with honors too. That wasn't enough to get me a job doing what I loved. It's a hard industry to get into. I ended up being hired by an undertaking chain. I work at the head office, creating marketing materials for sales to independent funeral homes and a thrilling company newsletter. Interrupted occasionally by the need to take coffee and tea around the offices. Luckily I missed the worst of that. There are a couple of very elegantly dressed ladies whose job is to br is bringing coffee to the bereaved. It's kind of morbid stuff for most people, but I guess I'm used to it. But the work is boring. I'll never get to be creative, it's always respectful. But I go. I do a good job and I collect my pay. And I swing by Akihabara on my way home to see what new things are around. I looked out the window. We've entered the city proper now. The weather's nice, it's spring, so it's sunny without being too hot or humid. But there's no scenery this far in. It's all high-rise buildings and city. Don't get me wrong, I like living here. But I also dream of living in a small village in the countryside, where my mom's from. My mom died when I was fairly young, but she always tells me stories of what she used to do as a child. Playing with her friends in the fields, the fresh vegetables, the regional food, the community feel. It sounded so romantic. It sounded like everyone knew everyone else in town, always had someone to hang out with, someone to chase after. Here I feel kind of invisible. Like I don't touch anyone else in any meaningful way. Before I knew it, it was time to get off the train and head into the office. Another exciting day of work ahead of me, no doubt. Well, this is me for the next nine hours. I think we'll probably just skip ahead a bit until after she's quit so we can get introduced to the other girls. Because I don't think we're going to meet many characters in here. Okay, just jumping back in, she's talking to her friend Koyomi, who she met online. <laughs> I'll just read this a little bit. So Kiyomi says, hello, Nyan. <laughs> Nyan, she must have read something with cat girls recently. Good morning. Did you grow some cat ears or something? Haha, <laughs> nothing like that. No, I was playing a new visual novel. It's about maids who are also cat girls. You can even press a button to make them bounce. It's Nekopara. That's exactly what that game is. I just thought it was cool that they had a, a Nekopara reference in there. Good evening, Dad. Oh, Yumi, welcome home. Did you have a good day? Dad and I supposedly worked the same hours, but it wasn't often now that we actually get home at the same time. He commutes on the train as well. It was okay, I suppose. How was yours? Very good. Mr. Miyuhara hosted an important meeting today and placed me in charge of a big new account. Well, that's great news. Dad was a senior executive at a television advertising company. They come up with concepts and shoot the TV commercials for some of the biggest companies in Japan. Ever since Mum died, he's worked really hard at this career to try and support me. It's a rare day when he's home on time. He works late a lot, and he's called on to entertain clients in the evenings. It's really nice to find him at home today. Shall I start cooking? Are you hungry? That would be great, thank you dear. We take care of each other, it's all we can do. Okay, it's taking a long time for her to quit her job, which is good, it means it's a long visual novel. Um, it's, it's really good so far, actually. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but her dad has set her up on like a play date with his boss's daughter because he needs she needs to meet with someone that that's what we're gonna do now i'd arranged to meet miyuhara san outside the 209 it's a huge mall that attracts a lot of tourists it's also kind of expensive i have to admit it's not my first choice when it comes to shopping but miyuhara san said we should go shopping so i guess that's what we're doing she said she has red hair and will be wearing a black overcoat it's not much to go on, but I told her what I'm wearing, so hopefully she'll recognize me. I rarely take the train on weekends like this. Thankfully I have a monthly pass, so this isn't costing me any extra. Dad gave me 10,000 yen as I was leaving, saying he still felt bad about things. I'm okay with it, but I'm not going to say no to spending money. If this turns out badly, I'll stop by Akiba on the way home, perhaps. Maybe that'll cheer me up. Wow, it looks awesome. It's so busy here. I mean, I knew it was, but I haven't been up here in so long. I'd almost forgotten how crazy it gets around here. Is that her over there, maybe? Probably. She's really pretty. Really, really pretty. She was wearing a really cute jacket combo. It really suited her. Instantly I realized why she asked to meet you at the mall. She must be really into fashion. Hey, you may, right? She's voiced. Yeah. You have 
a really cute name. It suits you. Uh, thank you, Miyahara-san. Oh, please. Kyoko is fine. So, listen. I know you probably don't want to be here. <laughs> Who wants to give up their weekend, right? So, let's do a little shopping. My dad sent me off with his credit card, so if there's anything you want, just ask, okay? It's on me today. Oh, um, thank you. I don't, I don't think I really need anything, though. What? Of course you do! I'm not having you come all this way without getting something cute! Kyoko grabbed my arm, and my heart skipped a beat. Maybe ten. Sounds kind of lame to admit, but I don't remember the last time someone did that to me. She dragged me off toward the mall entrance. As she did, she smiled at me. It was a pure smile, a genuine smile. My dad can be such a pain sometimes. He's always telling me how to run my life. I have my own publishing company, but he doesn't trust me to run it right. So he makes me jump through all kinds of hoops. Oh my god, I know! Let's get you a dress that matches those cute glasses of yours! So her internet friend was t saying earlier that she had to like, she couldn't message as much because her dad was making her do stuff. So I wonder if it's Kyoko? I really like the color. It'll be fun to shop for someone that isn't me today. <laughs> Let's go! Kyoko continued leading me into the mall. I'm not quite sure what I've let myself in for. This is probably- oh. She's not voiced for that bit. This is probably my favorite store in here. It's kind of pricey, but they always have the nicest stuff. I don't know why she's not voiced there. This is the kind of store I never go into. Not only does everything look expensive, but it's way too fancy for me. They sell dresses, lingerie, accessories, but it's all for people with more fashion sense than me. I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, oh, yes, this would be perfect. It looks a little small for me. Are you kidding? You may be wearing a loose-fitting sweater, but I can tell you're tiny. This will fit you just fine. Let's find some more and you can try it all on. Um, okay. I started to feel uncomfortable. I wasn't looking forward to the prospect of wearing tight-fitting clothing. Looking at Kyoko's outfit, I could tell she had expensive taste. Mr. Miyuhara is president of Dad's business, so he must have a lot of money. I guess Kyoko gets to use it. Oh, what about some underwear? Uh, underwear? Uh, um... We don't have to. Look, there's some cute hats over here. Oh my god, this would be perfect. I think my awkwardness avoided having us try on underwear. But Kyoko picked out a few more things and I insisted I model for her. There was a dress she liked so much she insisted on buying it for me. I can't say it wasn't a nice gesture. I'm not entirely sure the dress is my taste, however. We visited a few more stores, then Kyoko said she had to go home for dinner, so I decided to just head home. It was tiring being with her. Still, I guess I get to keep the cash Dad gave me. It was kind of exciting, too. I ended up having fun. She really makes you feel a part of things, like you're important. It was kind of a new feeling. My mind wandered toward Kiyomi. I hope she's doing okay. I haven't heard from her since we last spoke. I know it's only been a day, but even that's unusual for her. Our conversations have been getting more frequent over time, and for the past year she'd been messaging me every single day. Uh, I think I'm just going to have a nap when I get home. As soon as I got in, I went straight upstairs and flopped onto my bed. I felt a little... overstimulated. Kyoko has a lot of energy, perhaps too much for me. She's just from a different world than me. She's rich, beautiful, and funny. Completely unlike me. I bet she has a boyfriend. I... Uh, I give up. I don't want to think about it anymore. Lying there, I listened to the breeze rush through the trees outside my window. I tried to clear my mind so I could sleep. It's 1pm. How long did I sleep? Yume, are you awake? Yeah, come in. I didn't want to wake you. I wanted to thank you again for yesterday. It's okay, really. I actually had fun. That's good to hear. I'm glad. I'd hate to think what would have happened if it went badly. What was Kyoko like? She was fun. We went shopping. Shopping? Really? I didn't think you liked that sort of thing. I don't, but with Kyoko it's different. I see. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Can I get you some tea? Coffee? I'll be okay. I'm gonna go take a shower. Alright, Yumi. I'll be downstairs. I guess he still feels bad. wonder if I'll get to see Kyoko again. I mean, it's not like she hung out with me of her own volition or anything. Should I mail her? Nah, why would she want to hang out with me? We're quite obviously from different worlds. 
perhaps even different galaxies. Now I should just get back to working on my manga. I've got no other plans today, so now would be a good time. I sat down at my desk and started to work on some more panels. After my nap yesterday, I'd done some story work and that had kept me up late, but I now had four pages. Might not sound like a lot, but it's more than I've done in a very, very long time. This page was showing the idol, Setsuna, in a photo shoot with the main character. I had to get the angles right. The reader really needs to see how sexy Setsuna is here. If I can finish this page today and clean up last night's four, perhaps I'll scan them and send them to Kiyomi. Kiyomi. I still haven't heard from her, but maybe some artwork will motivate her? I hope she's doing okay. Right, took me all day, but it's finally done. I'm really proud of this panel here. That's really cool. It really shows her curves. Hope people think she's as sexy as I do. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The shading's nice and the scene flows well. Now to scan it in so I can show Kiyomi. Huh? Come on. Why won't it work? The scanner isn't moving at all. Just use your phone. You can do that. What if I turn it off and on again? Nope, still not moving. Damn it, guess that's that. It's an old scanner, I guess it finally died on me. Oh I know, I'll just scan them and it'll work. People use the scanner all the time, no problem. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go fine. Maybe that's why she quits, because she gets like caught scanning manga. So let's pack things up and get some sleep. Okay, I'm gonna call the video there for now. That was a quick look at the beginning of Etchy Sketch, Draw Cute Girls Every Day. Uh, it seems really cool, I think it's got three endings in it right now. It's also got an adult patch if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, pretty impressive, I really like Sweet Volley High. So I'm definitely going to finish this one off in my spare time. But that was Etchy Sketch. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!